Welcome to Whiskey's Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano, and you are watching my channel segment called Sip It or Skip It. This is where I have all of my whiskeys randomized on my phone. I'm going to spin the wheel, pull it off the shelf, do a quick review, let you know if I'm going to keep sipping on the bottle until it's gone and then replace it. Or once the bottle's gone, I'm going to skip it and move on to something else. Let's go spin the wheel and see what we're doing today. All right, <laughs> this is absolutely 100% a coincidence. I just did Red Breast 15 on my Monday series, and I'm just about ready to run out of the bottle. I think this kind of picked up on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour what I have, my last bit of the Red Breast 15, and do a quick review. Give me a second to get the bottle because it's right here. It's unbelievable. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe that that happened. So again, Red Breast 15, it's unbelievable. I just shot the video no more than an hour ago. All right, here we go. And that is it for the Red Breast 15. Man, oh man, oh man. All right, well, let's see what I can pull out of this that I didn't get about an hour ago. Fruity sweetness, absolutely by far one of the fruitier smelling Irish whiskeys of the Red Breast lineup. It is sweet and it's funny. On that note, I just got a little bit of a sulfur tinge. There is a little bit more oak in this now than my previous one. I would say some spice and I would pinpoint the spice to be cooking spice almost on that pepper side of things, but not as spicy as a black pepper or a white pepper, but it does have some sort of cooking spice added to this. There is toffee, there is vanilla, and I mentioned this in my Monday video. I don't pick up nuttiness on a lot of Irish whiskeys. I think there were maybe one or two that I have in the past, but there is a nutty note in here. It doesn't come through on the palate, but the nuttiness is definitely on the nose. I get dried fruits. I know this is Oloroso sherry cask matured as well as the ex bourbon. I'm not getting much of the ex Oloroso, but there is a light fruit note in here and it could be a combination of light fruits and dried fruits. Let's go ahead and get it on the palate. I am coming off of this whiskey just about an hour ago and I did have water added to it. And if you watch my Monday video, you know that I prefer this with water than without and just thinking what the other one tasted like there is less amount of spice in here than there was on the one that i added water to it even after the video was over i stuck around with it for a little bit longer and the spice grew ever so slightly from when i first added the water overall this is a well-rounded whiskey there's no sharp edges to this at all with the exception of that pot still spice. And the vanilla note that I'm getting in here is more of a vanilla wafer, not necessarily that Irish shortbread cookie note or the shortbread biscuit note that people mention all the time. I have yet to go out and get one. I think by the time I do my next Irish whiskey, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of those Irish biscuits and see if, if I can pick that note up in here. This being at 46% ABV, non-chill filtered, natural color, I think it sits really good in that whiskey enthusiast lineup when they don't chill filter it and it's all natural. I think that kind of elevates the whiskey a little bit more in the minds of the people that are drinking it. Early on in my whiskey journey, it didn't really make a difference to me. But as I started going on with my journey, I started to realize that non-chill filtered is much more flavorful, higher ABVs, higher proof, much more complex. Let's get another sip in here and then move on to letting you guys know if I'm going to keep sipping on it until the bottle's gone, which it is. So I guess the pressing question is, am I going to rebuy this or is it going to be a skip? Let me get that one last sip in. Even at 46, I think this packs a pretty good ABV punch. The spices there, all of the fruit that you want is in here. It's not a one note wonder, it will go from the arrival to the mid palate to the finish and it will elevate as it goes. I did say in my Monday video that it was consistent, but the profile changes as it goes from the 
arrival to the mid palate to the finish. And what I mean by it is consistent, it's consistently good, but you do definitely get different steps or different stages of the profile as you are experiencing the single pot still Irish whiskey. The finish is medium to long, and it definitely gives you a good mouth coating sweetness. I don't pick up on the nuttiness on the palate that I do on the nose, but all of those dried fruits and fresh fruits and the sherry notes and the vanilla, all of those flavors are coming through really, really nice in this bottle, which is gonna bring up the price. When I first purchased this, it was $115. The price has risen to $135. I gave this a rating of 3.99 purely based on the price alone. I don't think this is a $135 bottle. If it was less than 100, and at 15 years of age, I don't think they could possibly do that. But if it was under $100, let's just say $999.99, that would be $1,000. <laughs> let's, let's correct that. Even if it was $99.99, this would be a sip all day. At the price that I bought it, $114, it would still be a sip. I would repurchase this if it was still at the original price that I picked this up at about a year and a half ago. But due to the price increase, and I understand that all whiskeys are going up in price, but going from 115 to 135 is just way too much for me. Because of that, this is going to be a skip. And unfortunately, because of the price, and I knew this was going to happen, a lot of my buying decisions are going to be price dependent going forward with some of these bottles. Just because I like the whiskey and it's fantastic, I would actually reach for this right after the red breast cast rank and before the yellow spot. I think in that lineup of Irish single pot still whiskeys, this is definitely one of my favorite, but I gotta skip it. It's just way too much money. So that's where I'm gonna leave it. Do me a favor, in the comments down below, let me know where this falls into your lineup of Irish single pot still whiskeys. Is it a sip or a skip for you? Are you getting to the point where things are now being price dependent? Are you getting priced out of the whiskey market because how everything is going up? I'd be curious to hear what you guys are saying about that in the comments down below. If you're new to this channel and you like this information and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. If you're enjoying this video, give me a like. Turn the bell notification on because I go live with videos or I publish videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's all I got for you guys today. Enjoy your journey. I'm going to enjoy the last of my Red Breast 15, knowing that it is a skip. I'm gonna savor this, drop a tear or two in the glass, and move on with my life. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. It's unbelievable. I'm still shocked that this thing hit red breast 15. It's got a mind of its own. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.